Welcome to Small Talk with Kenya and Dawn. I'm Dawn. And I'm Kenya. So we are still here in our relationship series, and uh, we are going to talk about losing ourselves in our relationships. So I think a lot of times, you know, we have a boyfriend, we have a girlfriend, we get married, and we have children, careers are going, and we have so many different things going on, but we have a tendency at times to lose ourselves and forget sometimes who we are and forget to take care of ourselves. Have you had that happen to you before? Absolutely. And still sometimes get sucked back into it. Yeah. yeah. It's very, very difficult. Um, I've shared so many times before with my husband being in the military, I had children. There were things that I wanted to do, but I was not able to do them. Not only that, could I not do the things that I wanted to do, I got so wrapped up in my family, I forgot to take care of me. So many times. Yeah, too many times. Yeah. Yeah. That happened too many times. So, when if you see a woman that has fallen into that, what would you tell them right now? Um, I think one of the most important things to tell them is to tell them mm -hmm. that you have really lost yourself. Mm -hmm. And to try to help them understand because, you know, when we're doing it, we think that's what we're supposed to be doing. Right. I'm just being a good mom, I'm being a good wife, mm -hmm. I'm being a good employee, all of these being good things. Mm -hmm. And you are nowhere in it. Right. All of that is for everybody else. So I think really understanding that you are in it. Yeah. But I think, and when I, I can speak for myself, mm -hmm. when I realized it, it hurt me. Yes. Because I felt like I was even ineffective. Mm -hmm. Even though I was doing so many different things, I did not feel mm -hmm. effective. Mm -hmm. And I started to kind of feel like I was failing as a mom. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought about that once too. And I was so overwhelmed mm -hmm. to the point where I started to cry. Mm -hmm. And I was like, God, I don't even remember what I wanted to be when I grew up. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I just kind of grew up. Yeah. And I was talking to my daughter and she reminded me one day. She said, Ma, you remember you wanted to be a nurse? Mm. And even just her saying those words hurt me because yeah. I was like, I don't even have my own identity. Right. I don't even know what I want to do mm -hmm. because I've done all of this for so long. Mm -hmm. And so then it, you know, I was sad, but then it made me mad. Mm -hmm. And it made me mad with them because I felt like they took it all from me. Yeah. But I couldn't blame them. I did that. Yeah. I, I allowed it to happen. So would it be fair to say that maybe you felt a little resent? I did. A towards lot. them? A lot. I did resent them. Even my husband. I yeah. told him, you know, you get to sleep all the time and I got to go to work and sit again. And I was just always just saying all of those things. Mm -hmm. And not even realizing, I did that. I could have said, right. well, you do this time and I'll do next time. Yeah. But I think we just want to be the good mom. Yeah. The good we want to do. Yeah, we you do. Know? I think we want to be successful as mothers. We yeah. want to be successful as mm -hmm. wives. We want to be successful in jobs. Yep. Just so many different areas um, where we are existing and, you know, where we're living but then let me just say that because I just used that word existing. existing. <laughs> yes. It's like that's all we're doing that's is it. just existing. Yeah. Yeah. When you've lost yourself, mm -hmm. it's like you don't remember to have fun anymore. Right. You don't even remember how to have fun mm -hmm. anymore. Now some things that I used to have fun doing, I don't want to remember <laughs> those. I don't want, I'll yeah. never want to remember those things anymore. Just leave that leave that stuff in the past. Right. Leave yeah. that alone. But it. Things that were important mm -hmm. to me, stuff mm -hmm. that I wanted to do, mm -hmm. and I forgot, like, sometimes even, like, how to be happy. Oh, my goodness. Yes. And, you know, even with being happy, sometimes I had to ask my husband, oh, what do I want to eat? Mm -hmm. And I would say, why did I ask him that? Mm -hmm. You know, to myself, but I had got so used to just appeasing everybody mm -hmm. but me. And mm -hmm. that, that's such a sad place to be. Yeah. It is so sad. It does. And honestly, with doing all the different things, mm -hmm. I was with this lady um, yesterday mm -hmm. and I said, well, yeah, let's get something on the book. So, you know, I pulled out <laughs> a pink calendar. 
calendar and it's right here. Y'all can't see it, but it's right here. But I pulled it out and I'm going through and I said, oh goodness. Um, November 2nd? Yeah. Oh, wow. I said November 2nd. Wow. Yeah. And that was one of the only days that I had in November because I was looking and I said, oh, I can't do it this day. Yeah. Can't do it this day. But I was able to find that November 2nd day. And I I don't remember if we locked it in or not. Yes. I, got to, I got to go back and look in that, in that book again and see if it it's still August. It's still August. So, but, you know, it's, well, we're almost in September now. Yeah. Yeah, by the time this airs, it's going to be September. Yeah. But it was, I just like, I just have so many different things yeah. that are going on. But honestly, at one point in time, it was just all about the kids. Yeah. And if it was, it was all about my husband. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even have time mm -hmm. for myself. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to get so caught up yeah. in everything that I'm doing mm -hmm. that I can't stop to smell the roses. Mm -hmm. And you know, a lot of times, it continuously happens. Yeah. And we'll say, oh, well, I'm not doing that anymore. Mm -hmm. But then we'll go and overextend ourselves. Mm -hmm. And you said something very, very important. Stop and smell the roses. Yes. And a lot of things that I used to do that I enjoyed, and it was things that I was doing with the kids, mm -hmm. but I still found enjoyment in mm -hmm. Even just like reading a book. Mm -hmm. And now I'm struggling to find time yeah. just to read. Yeah. And it makes me reflect mm -hmm. and say, really, you know, at this point in your life, you mm -hmm. should have a lot of time. Yeah. And I literally don't. Mm -hmm. So even in that, and my still allowing those bad habits to creep back in. Mm -hmm. Because I I mean, if we really think about it, how much time, you know, you looking at your calendar mm -hmm. and you booked up until November. Yeah. yeah. You know, how much time are we really making for ourselves? And let me tell you, it was so many, so many things and I could I couldn't even I couldn't even enjoy mm -hmm. getting a pedicure. Because I had my laptop and while I'm getting a pedicure, I'm still working. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, mm -hmm. hold on, this yeah. isn't, I can't do this. And one day I sat in the chair and I turned on the massager. Mm -hmm. That was one of the best things I ever did in my mm -hmm. life. And it just went all in my head and my neck. <laughs> and it just felt so good. Yeah. But I just, I got lost yes. in everything else mm -hmm. and forgot to take care mm -hmm. of me. So you think about that. Mm -hmm. If you can't even enjoy mm -hmm. a pedicure, mm -hmm. are we really making ourselves conscious of really self-care? No, I wasn't. But guess what? I do now. Yeah. And like when we go out of town because we travel quite a bit, mm -hmm. and a lot of times I I have my laptop with me, but a lot of times I don't even take it out of the bag. Yeah. And I do my best to not do any work and just have that downtime, yeah. schedule a massage. Mm -hmm. Oh, you best to believe I'm gonna do some shopping when we're out of town. <laughs> but you make know a space. That is mm -hmm. your thing. Yes. So I I mean kudos to you for that. Yeah. But that's your thing. And yeah. you know, and just even taking a minute to enjoy a cup of coffee. Sometimes mm -hmm. in the morning, I'm like, man, I, mm -hmm. I kind of swallowed that. I didn't really taste it. Yeah. You know, and it's, I mean, I got to do a better job mm -hmm. of being more conscious. Yeah. Because those old habits, they slip right back in there. They can creep up on you yeah. so fast and you won't even realize it. Right. You don't even know it. Mm -hmm. And then you fall right back into that right same into rut again. Mm -hmm. But I will say this. Before you lose yourself, mm -hmm. say no. And let your no be no. Yes. You can't always give, give, give mm -hmm. so much of yourself mm -hmm. to where you don't have time for yourself. Yeah. You don't even know who mm -hmm. you are anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And people are having to even think for you. Right. Oh, my goodness. Yes. They have to think. <laughs> it is. Oh, my goodness. They have to think for yes. you. Yes. Yeah. Because you are exhausted. Yes. You're exhausted. Yeah. Remember who you are. Right. Don't allow yourself. And I can't even say that it's your family. Mm -mm. 
because people will only do what you allow them to do. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's us individually. Yes. It's us. Because, yes. you know, and, and I just, I, I get it when you have younger kids. Right. Because they require a lot more. Mm -hmm. But as our kids get older mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, our relationships get older. Right. You don't have to do the same things you did in the beginning. That's right. It's because we want to do those yeah. things. Yeah. But we have to get, we have got to learn to change mm -hmm. our mindset. Just yeah. adjust it a little bit. Yeah. And just focus on you have to be just as important as the people you're doing all of those things for. And they need, it needs to be reciprocated. Ooh, that's the other part. Let's talk about that. Oh, that's the other it part. It needs to. It needs to go both ways mm -hmm. because if you give, 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 mm -hmm. and you're not receiving, Ooh, yes. you're dreaming yourself mm -hmm. and you get so accustomed and accept mm -hmm. what that person is giving to you. Absolutely. That is something I just learned this year. Mm. Ooh. And I didn't even, I think my husband forced it on me. Oh. I didn't really learn it. He literally sat me down at the counter mm -hmm. one morning and he said, because I always tell my kids, people are not allowed to treat you how they want to treat okay. you. Okay. And he literally gave me my words that he said, you are so busy helping everybody. Mm -hmm. You don't realize they're just taking from you. Yeah. And it kind of made me mad because mm -hmm. I was like, no, they're not. And mm -hmm. when he really laid it out to me, ooh, I was, I was hurt, but I was kind of embarrassed. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I'm this, I'm this tough guy. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I'll tell them, no, yeah. we're not doing it. But I had, I'm so used to doing it. Yeah. People have literally taken advantage mm -hmm. and I didn't even realize it. Yeah. It's deep. Yeah. And I oh, think to, it has to be reciprocated. It has to be reciprocated, yeah. and you gotta set those boundaries that yes. we talked about. Yes, yes, they're so important. Like I said, say no. Yeah. Say no. Yeah. It's okay mm -hmm. to say no, mm -hmm. and especially when things start to affect your mental health. That's the other part. I can't even get started on that tonight. That's the other part. Yeah. I cannot get yeah. started on that. Yeah. It's going to hurt. It's so detrimental mm -hmm. to your mental health yes. when you lose yourself, mm -hmm. when you allow yourself yeah. to be taken advantage of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a hurtful thing. Yeah. And if you're not careful, that resentment's going to build up until you just explode one day. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And you know what? And in that, I thank God that I don't, I don't think I had time to allow it to build because I didn't recognize Mm -hmm. But when you recognize mm. it, oh my goodness. Yeah. And you keep trying to give people a pass. It's just more and more and more. That's how it normal. So if your husband would not have um, brought it to your attention, do mm. you think that it would still be going on to this day? Absolutely. What do you think that could have possibly like organically happened for you to say, hold on, this isn't right? I probably would have had to break again mm -hmm. to the point because even in doing it, I'm I'm gonna go that extra mile. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be running and mm -hmm. doing mm -hmm. and going mm -hmm. and do, I'm gonna be doing all of these things, mm -hmm. not even considering me first. I yeah. may be tired. Yeah, I'm still gonna do it, mm -hmm. and I would not have recognized it. Yeah, because that was just what I did mm -hmm. and, and it's really you know even as I'm sitting here thinking about it, I'm kind of getting mad with myself oh <laughs> it's kind of sad <laughs> yeah because I almost feel like people have used me mm -hmm. they have literally used me up yeah and I give people grace mm -hmm. but you no longer have access to me mm -hmm. in the way that you previously did right right so. Yeah, it sounds like you definitely set some boundaries. Oh, I set some walls down, mm -hmm. and the, and I meant, and you know, and that was the good thing about it too. I, I appreciate my husband for that because because he did that, mm -hmm. it really made me see the situation and see these people, and it was like, wow, I can't believe mm -hmm. I allow people to use me like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and when you when you have a heart. 
to want to help people. Mm -hmm. And when people know yes. that you have a heart to, to help someone and they will lay things on you. And then the next thing you know, it's not even, you're not even in, into um, the equation mm -hmm. except of oh, well, what you can do well, for me. And what you just said are almost the same exact words mm -hmm. that my husband had to say to who say to me in yeah. order for me to understand because even when he first said it I was like no they're not mm -hmm. no they're not yeah I really didn't understand it mm -hmm. yeah that's got to be hurtful mm -hmm. that's got to be hurtful mm -hmm. so let's 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 turn a little bit okay what about the job do you see how people lose themselves work 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 and you're not even building your own business mm -hmm. you work it for somebody, somebody else. else you're not even doing that I'm going to tell you, I was at work one day mm -hmm. and my supervisor, mm -hmm. there was um, someone that she had worked with before mm -hmm. and lady was sick. She passed away and she expressed, she said, wow. um, she said, I've worked with her for so long. She's mm -hmm. such a nice person. And I felt so bad for her because mm -hmm. she lost her friend. Mm -hmm. And then, I don't even think it was 30 seconds later, she said, well, we got to submit the request for her job. You I know said, what? wait a minute. This, hold on. This lady has worked with you for years. Mm -hmm. And she gave her all. Mm -hmm. Worked overtime, working for other people. And that's what she said. And as you were sitting there mm. saying that, I chuckled a little bit because that was the exact same experience I had at my job. Mm -hmm. A lady died and it was not three days later before yeah. they had somebody in her chair. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, yeah. I don't even think a funeral has happened mm -hmm. yet and they replaced her. Mm -hmm. But that was such a life lesson to me. Yeah. That now while I, you know, I have, because this was a struggle with me and my husband. I, mm -hmm. I'm a hard worker. It's mm -hmm. just who I am. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, especially when I was a supervisor, mm -hmm. I overextended myself a mm -hmm. lot. Mm -hmm. And it really, it affected my household right. a lot. But at the same time, that was the thing I had to come to realization from. The realization too. Mm -hmm. I can build my career, but I don't have to allow you to take all of my time there and you monopolize go. my time. Yeah. yeah. That's a really important point. Mm -hmm. I think it's I think it's great. Don't please don't think I'm saying don't do a good job at work right. or don't give a hundred percent. Don't mm -hmm. go the extra mile. But what I'm saying is a job will forget about you in a second. So fast. Don't sacrifice yes. yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't sacrifice your your family. Yeah. Don't sacrifice your friends mm -hmm. um, for the sake of a job. Mm -hmm. Because, and we've talked about this before, making memories with yes. people. That's what's more important. I mean, now everyone, not I won't say everyone, but you know, if, if you love your job, it's mm -hmm. important to you. Yes, of course you're going to want to do a good job. Mm -hmm. But you've got to have those limitations mm -hmm. to things. Yeah. And you don't have to say yes to everything. No, you meeting. don't. No. You don't have to be on every meeting. You yeah. don't have to be on every single project. Yeah. Because when it comes down to it and we close our eyes, you will be replaced just like just that. Just like that. Yep. Quicker than probably what I even snap my finger. <laughs> they already got the person. They already mind. got somebody else. Exactly. <laughs> Picking up the phone. I need you to go in Johnny <laughs> position tomorrow morning. Johnny Pats. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, I mean, it's and it, just it happens just yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. No, don't, good Lord, don't lose yourself. Yeah. Don't allow yourself to be used. Mm -hmm. Set goals. Yeah. Do things that you want to do. Mm -hmm. It had, it had been so many years and I said, I really want to finish school. Mm -hmm. And I did. Yeah. I didn't want to just be Sam's wife. Uh, oh, they, that's the girl's mama. No, mm -hmm. I'll, Dawn wanted to be Dawn yes. all over again and have her own identity. Absolutely. And that's why I had to say no to some mm -hmm. things. And I, my kids, 
they were here, but they were like, what? Yes, no. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> no, we're saying, no, I've got to say no. I can't, I'm sorry, but I can't do it. Mm -hmm. And I have to make time for myself. Absolutely, that's so important. Just for my sanity. Yeah, that is so important. And I used to joke and say, the only time I have to myself is in the bathroom. And I really don't get that because they'll sit outside okay. the door and knock on the door. Yes. And it's written to think about it. It's sad. Why don't I, I spend all day giving me to all of y'all? I can't have an hour. Yes. And I remember um, in the evening time, I used to go into the living room. Nobody ever went into the living room. Mm -hmm. And I used to curl up on the couch and mm -hmm. read my book. Mm -hmm. And I used to get so lost in the story. And I was like, man, hours would pass. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I can do this. Why don't I why do I feel guilty doing this? Yeah. I can I'm allowed yeah. to have a piece of my life. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Don't get so, so, so caught up that you forget who yeah. you are. Oh. And another thing I just thought about was how about people that are caretakers? That's a lot. My heart goes out to them. Yes. Because nine times out of ten, they're taking care of someone yeah. that really can't take care of themselves. Yes. Yes. And they don't have the opportunity mm -hmm. to maybe go out and do those right. things and go get that pedicure mm -hmm. or go to lunch by themselves or yes. go to lunch with a group of people or, mm -hmm. you know, so maybe even they maybe even can't get to a church, yeah. you know, just for a couple of hours on a Sunday. Yeah. And honestly, if you know someone in that position, give them a break. Yeah, that's important. Give them a break because trust me, they need it. And that's a constant wear on your mental, mm -hmm. not just your physical, but yeah. your mental. Yeah. And to not ever get a break. Oh my goodness. Yeah. They need it. Yeah. They definitely need it. Yeah. They need it. Yeah. So anything else you want to add tonight to losing yourself? Um, I just want to say just please be careful. Because it happens so easy. Mm -hmm. And it happens so easy because we're just trying to be the best version of ourselves that yeah. we can be. But also understand that being the best version of yourself requires you to spend time with that best version of yourself. Yes. So don't lose yourself. Absolutely. I definitely will echo those same sentiments. Um, just don't forget who you are yeah. and put yourself first. It's okay. Give yourself a little bit of grace. Trust me, okay. it is okay. And you will be more effective mm -hmm. to others in the yes. long run. Set those boundaries mm -hmm. when they need to be set and say no and make it a hard no if that's what you need to do. So comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the video, hit that bell so that you can receive those notifications. And until next time, have a great day. Thank you.